Really nice. Really nice. Oh, this one will be nice. Nice, man. Nice. Hello. Welcome back. In case you missed it, I came off and hurt myself. Okay, drop it. But now we're four weeks in. I don't know what I've done for the last four weeks. I've done loads of podcasts and I've done loads of walking, creeping around, which is exactly what I'm doing now. Progress update. The hand, the swelling's gone down and I can do this. The knuckle doesn't look very even, but lots of swelling gone down and way less pain. For the first two weeks, it was quite annoying. I don't know. So at least now, it doesn't feel like it's graunching around and I can actually swing it around now and it doesn't hurt the whole time. So that's fantastic. My right elbow isn't quite straightening out at the minute and I don't know why, but we're gonna have physio very soon. He's probably gonna jump on it. It's gonna be all good. Four weeks in, man, I feel like we're rapidly approaching a point where I'm gonna be able to ride. As someone who does a lot of exercise and stuff and stays busy, I really struggle when I'm not capable of filling my days with exercise. I think like I should be I should be able to like look at it as like a a blessing, a little bit of time off, but I'm a bit one dimensional, I'll be honest. I don't know what else to do with myself. That's why I find myself going on massive walks. They're kind of like cross country rides, but walks. That's exactly what they are. I guess that's what walks are. There we go. Learning growing so creating a custom bike is one of the coolest things you can do it's what I did in my last injury and it was great fun it kept me occupied and gave me something to look forward to when I came back that was the pink bike maybe I can put clips in of the pink bike here this time we think we've come up with an idea for this next custom bike hopefully in the next clip you might have more of an idea of what this bike's gonna look like Ooh. There it is. Yes, that's right. The inspiration for my new bike. Look at it, man. So admittedly, I had a short-lived affair with the ocean. I mean, I can't swim. I went out in the sea. It was enough for one. Time, but maybe we can keep this nautical dream alive on my new bike. So there you have it. That's what I was thinking for inspiration for my 2024 Focus Jam. Let's head back to the computer. I've got Focus sending me the graphic files through. So then all we have to do is sort of fiddle with them and jet ski my bike up. Right, I had, I had a thought that I would like time lapse everything I was doing here, but I can't work out how to screen record or time lapse on my computer so instead I've just got what I'm doing here I, I, I suppose you didn't think that you were going to see me just on a computer in this video but here we are so here is the Focus Jam Carbon this is uh, my last year's bike basically Focus were kind enough to send me like their graphics folder which has all the sizes so my Jam Carbon's a medium so I'm going to steal this guy I don't know why I'm saying I'm going to steal it I already have I'm just gonna show you now. You ready? I've done it. Here it is. This is it. So the next stage is to go to Fat Creations. Like, how cool does this look? I think like the colors I've just taken off the jet ski and um, I'm gonna have to match it up when I'm there. All of the sponsors down here looks quite trick, I think. And then also I um, I took the Sea Doo logo on my jet ski and I made O-Dub and I, I really like it as well hypes on that so yeah here we have it 
Oh, I also did my forks. So these are Trace 36 graphics that I've just sort of like changed around a bit. Because I think it's worth doing forks at the same time, like it'll look more complete. It'll look more like this. Oh yeah, can't wait. Very excited. Let's head to Fat Creations. That was a bad ending. Maybe I could, yeah. Oh, my finger doesn't work. That's right. That's more like it. Okay, so you saw how I designed it. We're on our way now to Fat Creations. I've already dropped the bike off a long time ago. They prepped it and I'm coming in to do a day of work experience. And I think we got Deeks coming along as well because he's got a Cuzzy bike too. So maybe the, maybe after this video, head over to Deeks' page and you'll be able to see his bike too. I don't even know if that's a thing. Another day working on the finest custom bikes my jet ski jam. Hope you like it. Are you excited? I don't think you're as excited as me. Maybe I'm just caffeinated. I don't know. It's pretty early. Peace and love. See you next one. Probably going to come out of my chest into the door. Something like that. Oh no. There he is. Well, it's had an update. The dad cam has had an update. What's going on? Deeks, we've just arrived at Fat Creations. Can you just do the intro? Because I feel yeah, like you're yeah, better at it than me. Yeah, okay. You can do mine. We like it. Oh, so today, perfect. It's very special because we're not only doing my bike, but your very special bike, which the viewers will see, and some will already have an idea what it is, but who knows? It's very cool. We're going to take you through the process. Check it out. Dude, that was a, gr that was a really like good that. intro because you didn't know what I've already filmed, no. so that was really good. <laughs> oh, look who it is. Trying to get out of there. Duncan. <laughs> He's going into that room. We'll, we'll get more from out in a minute. Here's my bike. It's already been rubbed down and primed. So it goes all the way back to carbon and then gets primed up. Here's my fork. I think they're my forks. Honestly, they're naked, so I don't know. I don't know. Which are my forks? Hey, we, I think they're my forks, aren't they? We don't know. That is so weird. You don't realize which is which when, they, when they're naked. Well, surely you know if you've got pinch bolts. Do you know, Dix? Oh yeah, these are my... Hey, right, okay, it's okay, right, no worries. So the Exfusions are here, as you can see, all primed. They're butt naked, bit, they're a bit embarrassed. I shouldn't really be filming them this close, so let's take it away. Um, and then here is the design that you've previously seen me work on. You've already spouted on about it, have you? Or my, yeah, just, yeah. Oh, what a shame, I did screen I... recording. We're here with Bex, we're gonna, paint, we're gonna pick the paints. You reckon you've got some? To match the design. I think so. It's just the blue that we're, that we're considering, isn't it? So yeah. Got... Oh my goodness, it's perfect. Is it? Snow pearl. Yeah, and green, slime green, and. Slime green. This is just a base names? light purple, but I call Look it, how nine, perfect 90s, it is. 90s. It looks so jet ski, especially when it dry. Hyped. I think we're ready to go. Lint free cloth, thinner, for all of this paint a bit softer. We've just been explained properly, but I think that's essentially it. I've got orange gloves on, that's all the information I've got at the minute. Catch you in a bit. Can you hear? Can you hear me? I don't know when to stop showing you bits because I don't know. I feel like we should wait until the last thingy now, don't you? What do you reckon? Yes, you Quite a total reveal. Yeah. Is it just, you can see the jam there. It's gonna be Odub airbrushed in here. That's the stripe like on the jet ski. Oh, we're gonna get the, oh dude. I am actually so excited. Best, best one yet, isn't it? Yeah. No, your best one, second best, the one that's in there. Heritage Deeks' channel. So 
welcome to the build portion of the video where I headed to MB Cyclery to get my bike built up by intelligent and patient individuals. Here's Ben fitting InvisiFrame. Um, I felt it was pretty crazy to get a frame like this custom sprayed up and then to not InvisiFrame it. Plus I InvisiFrame all my bikes. I think I'm not that careful with my bikes, so InvisiFrame really helps. It kind of allows me to uh, not worry about my lack of care. The cool thing about this kit is that you literally can't see it. It's the same uh, gloss finish, so it's not like you're taking a perfect custom bike and ruining it, you're just looking after it. I didn't trust myself with the process, so I got Ben to do it. I'm, uh, I have done it myself, and it wasn't that bad. But uh, yeah, I thought this bike in particular is quite, quite a cool one, so I wanted it to be perfect. And perfect is probably the finish I can't achieve. I'll be honest. Kits are available for all bikes, and if they're not available for your bike, you can get it done. This is the Jam Carbon in Medium kit. Next up, the only job I was trusted with is fitting my X-Fusion H3A shock. I went for an air shock on this bike just because I hit ramps sometimes and um, do different stuff, and it's cool to have the adjustability. I might swap it out, but who knows. Again, I was relegated to fix stickers on my wheels whilst Ben installed my forks which are the Trace 36s they're again custom sprayed which is pretty cool actually X-Fusion let me spray them a different colour and I think they look rad Ooh. onto the cockpit obviously I chose the O-Dub bar I went for it in 35mm clamp and 35mm rise for this bike that's what I usually use on my trail bike. I have them cut down to 770 millimeters. Dude, look at me with the numbers, man. Whilst I installed tires to my wheels, Ben cracked on with the gears, Upgrade Bikes kindly donated a TRP TR12 Evo group set, that was nice of them, that's like cassette everything now which is cool. I run 165 axe cranks, um, that used to be short but I don't think it is anymore, I think everyone runs that. So, I know there's no sound on this uh, video because we didn't want to get copyright claims from the music in the shop. But these are my Stans Flow Mark IVs, and they've got the M Pulse hub, which is actually magnetic pulls rather than spring loaded, so that makes a very cool sound. But you're going to have to wait for another video for that. I run a manic dropper at 170 millimeters of travel. And obviously, I finish my bike with my good pal Brendan's parts the DMR, Brendog Volts, and of course the Death Grips. I have flangers on this one because the only colour they had in the bike shop, that the only black colour they had in the bike shop, but normally I run a flange. That sounded weird. Right, next up, we headed out, out of the shop. I didn't think I should do the grand reveal in video form. I thought I'd do the grand reveal in uh, photograph form. So I headed to the woods with Rue Fowler.
giant thanks to all my sponsors for making this possible. Big thanks to Ben MB, to Doug and Naomi, and to Rue for not only building my bike, but taking pictures of it and videoing it too. So I've had a long time off from my injury, and this bike represents the end of that. I'll be back on with more videos very soon on my Jet Ski Jam 2024. Thanks for joining. Peace and love. Hope you enjoyed it. All the best. <laughs>